how to run A-B tests with PageSense. When you add new elements to your website or modify existing ones, you should always ask yourself, how will this change affect conversions? Instead of guessing the answer, run an A-B test. This way, you'll be confident that you're only introducing changes to your website that will increase your conversions. In this video, I will show you how to create an A-B test for a web page. My hypothesis for this test is that if I remove navigation links from my landing page, the number of conversions for the primary goal, which in my case is a visitor signing up, will increase. To create a new A-B testing in PageSense, start by clicking on the new A-B test button. I'm calling this Zoker landing page A-B and I have entered the URL of the landing page on which I want to run the test. Now in the editor tab, you can make the change you want to test. Here I have removed the navigation links from the page so that the visitor's primary focus remains on the main CTA. This is the only change I'm going to make in the variation. However, you can change a variation further depending on the hypothesis you want to test. You can also add more variations with different changes in each. Hit Save once you're done making changes. Click Next and you'll be taken to the Goals tab. Since my primary objective is to measure the difference between the number of signups I get in the original and the variation, I'm going to set this metric as the goal of this A-B test. A custom goal works best for this particular requirement. So I'm going to create a custom goal called sign up. Next, I'll add a custom event sign up. I'll have to copy this piece of code right here and paste it in the section of my web page that collects the sign up response. Click save and then next. On the audience tab, use this slider to set the percentage of your audience that will participate in the test. I want to include all of my website visitors in this test, so I have set it to 100%. In the target audience section, choose a preset segment. I'll just include visitors from ad campaigns in this test. You can choose any preset segment or create one of your own using the custom audience option. Click Next and you'll be taken to the Configuration tab. In the Segment Traffic section, specify the traffic distribution across all the variants. I'm going to assign 50% to the original and 50% to the variation. So half of my website visitors will see the original web page and the other half will see the one without the navigation skills. In the Set Mode section, Choose the mode you wish to run your test in. Consider two factors while choosing a mode for your A-B test. The degree of accuracy of the result and time taken to get the result. I'm selecting the optimal mode since I'm looking for fairly accurate results with a reasonably short time. As far as the activation mode, I'll just stick to the default option of activating the A-B test as soon as the page loads as this best suits my requirement. You can pick either one if you want to run the test on the web page only when specific prerequisites are met. In the next section, you can enable heat map tracking for all variations in the test. I'm going to limit the number of visitors to 2000 for heat map data I think interactions from 2,000 visitors will give me a fair idea of a difference in behavior between the original and the variation. I want to launch this A-B test immediately, so I'm going to leave the schedule option disabled. You can choose to enable this option, set a date and time for its launch depending on your requirement. You can also enable integrations for this A-B test. I do not want to set up any integrations, so I'm not going to enable this option. The summary page will show you key information about the A-B test, including the number of variations, the goal, audience segments, and target audience. Click Launch. Your A-B test is now live. You'll be able to view the overview and detailed reports of this experiment in the Reports tab once there is some data to display. When the result reaches statistical significance, which means that there is sufficient data to conclude that one version of the web page is getting significantly more conversions than the other, you'll have a winner. 
With the AB test reports, you will be able to see the heat map, scroll map, and attention map of not just the original, but also the variation, something which you can't view in a usual heat map report. Running an A-B test is a great way to make sure that the changes you introduce to a web page actually increases its conversions. If you're unsure about any aspect of this setup, or if you encounter any issues with it, we'll be happy to help out. Just drop us an email at support at zohopagesense.com.